Hi again, friends. Today's read aloud is going to be called for a very windy day. Take a look at the cover and see if you can guess what the story might be about. Mommy, Crispin spilled my paint again, shrieked Flora. I told you to keep your paints out of his reach, said her mother. I tried, said Flora, but... Oh, look at this mess outside Flora right now. Oh dear friends, how is she feeling? Oh, look how the illustrator put red marks all the way around her picture. Look how red her cheeks are. <gasps> She's feeling very angry. Can you think of any other words? to describe how she's feeling? Mad, frustrated. Oh, let's keep reading. Let's see what happens next. I can't go outside, protested Flora. The wind is very strong and will blow me away. Nonsense, said her mother. Flora thought for a moment. Of course, I could wear my super special heavy duty red boots. They'll keep me from being blown away. Fine, said her mother, and take Crispin with you. All right, so now we know the characters' names. Flora is the big sister, and the little brother is Crispin. Oh dear. Have you ever had a brother or sister get into something that belonged to you? Did it make you feel frustrated like Flora? The wind was indeed very strong that day. It pushed and pulled and twirled and twisted. But no matter how hard it blew, Flora stayed firmly on the ground. Ha ha, you dumb wind, said Flora. You can't lift me up because I'm wearing my super special heavy duty red boots. The wind did not like being laughed at. It doubled its strength and blasted mightily at Flora but she still didn't budge. However, said Flora, you may notice that my little brother is wearing regular old purple boots. Does he have purple boots? Look at her big heavy duty red boots. I'm sorry, no, he needs purple boots. Hmm. Now the wind rippled in strength. It swirled and swooped and whizzed and walloped. And then, oh my, Crispin was being lifted off the ground. Just a little bit at first, but the wind grew stronger and Crispin went higher and then higher and higher still. He was being blown away. He looked very frightened. And suddenly Fleur was kicking off her super special heavy duty red boots and spreading her coat to the wind. And oh my, oh my, she was sailing up towards Crispin. She grabbed his hand and closed her eyes and wished she were anywhere else in the world. Wow, friends, she jumped right into action. Can you believe she flew up to save him? That's a great big sister. But soon Flora realized that being blown by the wind was comfortable, like riding along on a squishy flying chair. She decided to open her eyes. Just then they came upon a dragonfly. Will you give me that little boy? Asked the dragonfly. He could polish my wings. Silly dragonfly, scolded Flora. She knew that Crispin was too clumsy to clean such delicate wings. He's my brother and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the dragonfly. Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon a sparrow. Will you give me that little boy, asked the sparrow. He could sit on my eggs. What a mess that would be, said Flora, as if Kristen could sit on eggs without breaking them. He's my brother and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the sparrow. Everybody know what a sparrow is? It's that little teeny tiny bird. I see sparrows a lot in my backyard. 
Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon a rainbow. Will you give me that little boy, asked the rainbow. He could guard my pot of gold. Gold? That was tempting, but thought Flora. Crispin's not fierce enough to guard anything. No, he's my brother and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the rainbow. Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon a cloud. Will you give me that little boy, asked the cloud. He could squeeze out my raindrops. Flora thought that squeezing out raindrops sounded like fun, but Crispin would surely catch a cold, and then who would help him with his nose? No, I won't give him to you. He's my brother, and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the cloud. Hmm. Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon an eagle. Will you give me that little boy, asked the eagle. He could sharpen my talons. Friends, does everybody know what talons are? Look at, ooh, very sharp claws. Look at these talons. Ooh. You can't fool me, Flora said. She saw the hungry look in the eagle's eye. He's my brother and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the eagle. Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon the man in the moon. Do you see the face? Here's his eye, nose, mouth. Will you give me that little boy? Asked the man in the moon. It's lonely up here and he could keep me company. The man in the moon had a kind face and he did look awfully lonely. But there were no chocolate chip cookies on the moon and Crispin was so fond of chocolate chip cookies. I'm sorry, but I can't, said Flora. He's my brother and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the man in the moon. Flora stomped her foot, or would have if there had been anything to stomp on. I'm tired of hearing that. Why won't the wind let us go home? You should ask him, answered the man in the moon. Flora hadn't thought of that. Oh, wind, will you let us go home? I'll let you go home as soon as we find the right spot for Crispin, replied the wind. You do want me to get rid of him, right? Yes, I mean, I did. I mean, Flora wasn't sure what she meant. Because I could even use him myself, said the wind. You know, to work my bellows. No, thank you, Flora had finally decided. I should take him home. My mother wouldn't like it if I lost him. If that's what you really want, said the wind. Yes, please, said Flora. So the wind turned Flora and Crispin around and blew them home. Do you see what's waiting for her? Her heavy duty red boots. Flora put her super special heavy duty red boots back on, then straightened Crispin's hat and brushed a shred of rainbow from his coat. You see that? That's all the color. She rang the doorbell and her mother opened the door. I decided to bring Crispin back, Flora told her. From where? asked her mother. From the moon, said Flora. Oh, nonsense, said her mother. Now come inside. I've made chocolate chip cookies. The end. Sometimes it's easy to get frustrated with a brother or a sister or someone that you live with. But just remember, we love our family and she did the right thing. She took care of her brother when he needed her help.